ABC's Alex Perche joins me live from Capitol Hill now, along with investigative reporter Catherine Falders for more on this. Catherine, a good portion of today's hearing will focus on that meeting in the Oval Office on December 18th about a plan to declare a national emergency to seize voting machines. Yeah, this was one of the most bizarre meetings of the Trump presidency. It took place in the Oval Office. Uh, parts of it turned into screaming matches. You had lawyers there like Pat Cipollone, former White House lawyer Eric Hirschman, the chief of staff, Rudy Giuliani, these outside Trump allies who we think we'll hear more from today, including uh, Sidney Powell and Michael Flynn. Uh, they were essentially pushing these theories that they wanted the Department of Homeland Security to seize voting machines, and they wanted to appoint Sidney Powell uh, to to be this special counsel to investigate these false claims uh, of election interference and election fraud. We know that former President Trump uh, was in that meeting. There was uh, lots of disagreement during that meeting from Mark Meadows and from Pat uh, Cipollone. Now, the committee plans to tie this meeting to a tweet uh, that you heard Rachel talk about uh, a bit that former President Trump sent out uh, just shortly after this meeting, telling his supporters to be there, that it would be wild. They're also going to tie that to uh, of course, these militia groups, these extremist groups who viewed that as a call to action. So all of these elements coming together here today in this hearing. Now, Alex, what can you tell us about this former spokesperson for the Oath Keepers and what are we expecting to hear about that and other extremist organizations today? Well, Diane, his name is Jason Van Tattenhove. And keep in mind, with this testimony that we're expecting to hear from him, there have already been at least three senior oath keepers who have pled guilty to seditious conspiracy to prevent Biden from taking power. So a key question that uh, this committee is going to look to connect the dots on is, is there evidence clearly linking any political associates of the former president to the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers? And so this, this is part of that. That, that narrative that they could potentially connect the dots on. Catherine, we also expect to hear recorded testimony from the former White House counsel, Pat Cipollone. Why is that so important? Yeah, this is crucial here. He was the top lawyer in the White House present for many of these meetings where these fringe theories about the election were essentially permeating uh, the White House. I'm told that he talked about a lot of those uh, theories and who was bringing them into the building and who was involved, including former Trump uh, lawyer John Eastman. Uh, he also shed more light on uh, conversations about pardons, whether they be for members of Congress or others. Uh, we're also told that he'll discuss that Oval Office meeting uh, that occurred when Trump wanted to appoint that DOJ official Jeffrey Clark to lead uh, the Department of Justice. We also know, uh, according to our sources, that uh, Cipollone said that he thought Trump going to the Capitol on that day was a bad idea. So expect to hear more from him on all of that and the legality uh, that surrounded all of these issues as they were unfolding in real time. Now, Alex, the Justice Department's investigation concluded the attack on the Capitol was planned by senior leaders of the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers. How significant would it be if the committee can establish ties between those groups and people close to the former president? Could there be consequences from that? Well, certainly there could be consequences, and it's very significant. In fact, it's the, the, the purpose of this entire, this entire investigation. Look, the DOJ uh, has already centered its investigation on who committed uh, the violence and who organized and financed that attack. We know the DOJ has concluded the assault on the Capitol was far from spontaneous, that it was hatched well in advance of January 6th by senior leaders from the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers. And one of the critical questions that was laid out in the very first public hearing was whether or not the attack at the Capitol was coordinated and planned. They were trying to draw that link between the leaders from the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers and uh, the White House, the Trump administration. And so that is something that could come from today. All right, Alex Prashay, Catherine Falders, thank you both. And we will have full coverage of today's hearing starting at 1 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.